welcome back to the channel. I hope that you are doing well and it feels quite strange to say, but happy new year. I have been so incredibly busy and I figured I would just do a quick little life update, talk to you about where I've been, how I've been. December was an extremely busy month. Started off with resigning from my former job that I had been at for 10 plus years. It was very, very bittersweet that I knew that I was definitely ready for something new and to move forward in my career so that was a huge adjustment took a quick trip to mexico for a few days which was nice mexico is just always such a good quick getaway we've gone so many times that it just feels like home and i don't feel guilty when i sit on the beach and do absolutely nothing which is what i did for about five days and i loved it but when we came home i had a day to relax and then i started my new job and then of course the holidays and on top of all of that i officially moved out of my apartment and into this space and you can probably see that there are some new little updates here i have been working on kind of just settling into the space designing it how i want but really just taking routine and balance into account and I feel like that was my theme for the month of January. I was really just trying to establish a routine that worked for me with my new work schedule, I'm trying to work out consistently, trying to eat more balanced meals, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a struggle. In addition to sorting out this space, taking things to storage, and purchasing new things, getting rid of the old, and I finally feel, finally, feel like I've gotten to the other side of the mountain. I very quickly just wanted to share this sweater that I got at the start of the year from H&M. It's a very, very fuzzy mohair. The color, as you can see, is like a soft beige with yellow undertone, so it looks like a soft yellow, and I love it. It's a part of the H&M premium collection, but it's just one of my favorite things to wear. It's just like comfortable, it's cozy, and the mohair, I will say, is a bit itchy, but I feel I've kind of gotten used to it because I wear this sweater so much. I'm wearing these earrings from Mingo. I recently purchased these. These are like a really pretty knot style, and I love how they just make a little bit of a statement. So if you wear your hair up or down, they just, like they are the accessory. You don't need anything more, which I love because I really love to keep things simple but they're not heavy at all. And these were, I believe, $25.99. So definitely check them out if you're looking for some cute gold accessories, gold earrings. I'm wearing this ring, which was gifted to me, and I don't know where it's from, unfortunately. And then I have on this little ring that I had gotten from Amazon, my Cartier ring, and my vintage watch. And then I have on my cuff with a little D. And this little stone here is from Nadri. I'm gonna go out and run some errands. I have to go to the grocery store. I wanna take Lulu for a walk. This is the first time we've had a sunny weekend in about two weeks, and I'm so anxious to get out there. What can I do? I'm split in two and I pulled myself apart trying to see myself with you. I've had one or two, I've only had a few. Speaking nonsense is my specialty when I'm with you. But I want it, I want it, I'll do anything to have you. Call me yellow, green, red or blue, the whole damn color spectrum. I don't care what you do, I don't care about your crew. The only one I see myself with in the end is you. That's okay, I'm all okay, don't worry about it. Say one day when it's okay, we'll stay in and play and I'll take away your hurt. Make you smile for days, I'll take away your hurt so you don't have to pray. Toss a lucky coin in the fountain of dreams. You could wish to see this clear cause things are what they see. In a perfect world where we can always gleam. We can only dream, yeah we can only dream. One 
of my goals this year is to read more. Last year, I was able to meet a goal of reading 27 books in total, which was impressive for me <laughs> because I didn't think I'd be able to do it, but reading has really become a staple in my evening routine. I now put my phone aside around 8, 9 o'clock at night, I put it on Do Not Disturb, and I pick up a book, and I read until I fall asleep. And I've been loving it, and I wanted to share the books that I have been reading recently, starting off with Before We Say Goodbye. I started reading Before the Coffee Gets Cold while we were on vacation in Mexico. That was going to be like my vacation book, but I finished it in three days. And the last two chapters, I was sobbing. <laughs> we went to a beach club, and I was literally sobbing in my towel. I downloaded the second book of the series, which is Tales from the Cafe. I was able to finish that quickly, and then I, and I started reading Before Your Memory Fades, and now I'm reading Before We Say Goodbye. And I have to say that I'm kind of stalling with this because I don't want to say goodbye. I just absolutely love this whole series. I think one of the most meaningful things about each book is that it teaches you how to appreciate the people in your life while they're still here with us. That whether you are in a cafe in the magical chair going to the past to revisit someone, you know, you have to take a moment and appreciate where you are now. That mindfulness, the gratitude, the saying what you feel to a person, being honest, being truthful. And this book really has deeper lessons to be learned while you're reading it, but I'm just, I'm, I'm so in love with it. It's so beautifully written, very easy to consume. It's only about a little over 200 pages. I finish these pretty quickly. I cannot talk about this enough. I could sit here for hours and talk about this whole series, but if you're looking for something, Definitely recommend. Will it make you cry? Yes, but it's like a good, happy cry. The second book that I've read in the month of December is A Little Life, and it is a massive book. It's over 700 pages, and it is quite difficult to consume at times. The book tackles very difficult topics related to sexual assault, trauma, drug abuse, uh, sexuality is mentioned, and I've had to, at moments, put it down to really process what I'm reading, but the story is, is that there's four friends who have a beautiful relationship at times. It's turbulent in some moments, but they really are a support network for each other, and the book focuses in on Jude and kind of explores his traumas and how it's manifested itself, how it's impacting him physically, emotionally and ultimately the unfortunate events that occur from a lot of the unresolved trauma. And because of that, I would say that this is a book that you definitely want to read some trigger warnings before you consume it, because I myself had to just like take a moment back. But it is just very, very difficult to consume at times. But this has to be the saddest, yet the most beautifully written book I have ever read. So I recommend it, but with caution. The next book that I'm excited to read once I finish before we say goodbye is The Mystery Guest by Nita Prose. This is a part of the Maid series. If you saw my previous vlog where I mentioned The Maid, I think it might have been last summer sometime. I loved that book. If you go on Goodreads and you read reviews of it, everyone says that Molly the Maid has certain behaviors that are associated with autism. However, it's never explicitly stated in the book, but if you're familiar with autism, you can kind of see how she has those traits. But it's very cute to see the way Molly navigates life with the advice given to her by her grandmother, as well as how dedicated she is to her job. She doesn't break rules, and no matter what's happening, she's true to herself. And I think it's a really beautiful takeaway from the whole story. But now I'm excited to read The Mystery Guest, which is a continuation with Molly. Molly's now the head maid, spoiler alert. And you can kind of just read where she's at in her life and all the different thriller drama that's unfolding. So I did read the first 30 pages and I'm really excited. I also picked up Kate Kennedy's One in a Millennial. I also started this, I think I'm about 12 pages in. I've done some highlights. And I have to say, this book really just hits. It brings back a lot of memories of my own childhood, growing up in the pop era as a millennial, 
and kind of focusing on just being a girl living life but taking and having more awareness as you've gotten older with what millennials are going through especially for us women it's just like i read this book and i couldn't put it down and i'm like wait you have to wait <laughs> but one thing that i highlighted is she said we planned our lives without a lot of information making key life decisions more grounded in traditions but we are now in a world that's inundated with information and therefore surrounded by opportunities that didn't exist when we were planning our dreams. And it is so true. Like that quote just stuck out to me. Definitely recommend this if you want to have a little nostalgic moment. If you are too a millennial and you shopped at Limited 2 and you listened to Backstreet Boys and followed Britney. There's a lot of cute references in here, but at the core of it, it's very, very relatable and something that us women can really relate to being a millennial purchasing homes meeting those developmental milestones moving out of your family's home having children it looks very different for our generation so that is a book that i recommend if you're interested i recently launched my blog well i did it uh, in december officially but i've been slowly adding to it i try to post once a week every sunday and on my blog, I have all the books that I want to read for 2024. I'm not married to that list because if I see something that piques my interest, then I'm just going to go for it. But if you're looking for some books to read, you can go check out the list on the blog. I do have to update it, I think, with my third list because I have a reading goal of 30 books this year. Whether or not I'll be able to accomplish that, I don't know, but that's the goal. And yeah, I have all the books that I want to read. I also share some style content, so things that I'm currently loving, beauty favorites, what's in my bag, just like small little things that I don't would necessarily show here on YouTube or on Instagram. I definitely check out the blog if you're interested in reading some books and let me know what you are reading. Leave a comment down below of the books that you want to read or that you currently read or books that you recommend. I would appreciate it and maybe I can make the goal more than 30. Who knows? Fingers crossed.